You're creeping me out. This guy's creeping me out. Can you get rid of this guy? Well, let's try something here. Uh, seriously, can we get rid of this guy? <laughs> backup plan because in case I mess up, I need a backup plan. So we're going to use a trick that uses the four aces, which is to shake. Face up. <laughs> it would be even cooler if it was now the ace of hearts. No. And under your hand. So I had a premonition before we came here. There's a folded card from another deck. Would it be impressive if I knew you were going to pick the three of clubs before you even thought you were going to be picking a card? What are the chances that that folded card is also a six of clubs? Oh, shit. I'm not a miracle worker. Come on. What is it? Just a six of clubs, man. Wow. She's like, and then a donkey came out of the box. But look, look, we'll take, we'll take the card, we'll take the card, we'll take the card. We'll take it, I'm gonna try and get it out. We'll take the card out, you'll see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Drop it on. Um, you guys know, in, any, in anything in life, if you're doing something for the first time and you're trying to show people and impress them, you don't want to screw it up, right? right? Anytime you try something new, you pay, play piano, do art, you don't want to be like, oh, I screwed it up and have people think you're stupid. So this is the same idea. It's a new trick. It's with aces. I call it the backup plan because in case I mess up, I need a backup plan. Okay. So we're going to use a trick that uses the four aces, okay. clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Um, but in case I mess it up, I'm going to have someone select a card. If I mess the ace trick up, I'll find the card in a really cool way. Simple idea, right? right? Can you help me with it? And select any card you'd like. And you'll show everybody. Don't let me see what it is, but show it around. I'll turn around. Okay? Yeah, great, great. Cool. And then place it anywhere I would like. <laughs> starting good, starting good. <laughs> We'll mix them a little bit, but again, it, unless I mess this trick up, we don't even have to find that card, okay? So we'll go back to it at the end if I screw up. Uh, since you started to help me, we'll finish it with it. Out of the four aces, which one do you like the best? Clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds? Diamonds, just like a woman. That's the way it goes, that's the way it goes. Perfect. So we're going to take the ace of diamonds. It'll start face up. Here's the idea. And it'll flip face down. If you guys see me flip it face down, then I screwed up and I'll find your card. Is that your card, the Queen of Hearts? Then that's not the trick, okay? I get that. Ace of Diamonds starts face up. We square it in. Just a shit. It should go from face up to face down. <laughs> now that was quick and you didn't know what to look for, so I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to show you this. There's a little bit of alcohol in the room, so can you go a little slow? We'll try again. Huh? I didn't get it. Ace of diamonds. Face down to face up, but this time it's really black. One, two, three. What? Okay. 
We'll try one last time. <laughs> and this is the one I usually screw up, okay? So bear with me, bear with me. But again, you could have picked any ace. You could have said ace of clubs, ace of spades, ace of hearts, but you chose the diamonds. So do you write with your right or left hand? Right. Right handed, okay, great. I'm gonna have you put your left hand palm up. I'm gonna put the ace of diamonds in her hand. She's gonna cover it with her other hand and it's gonna flip in her hand. Let's do this. Check it out. Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds will go face down. And I want you to cover it completely. And can you help just because her hands are kind of small? Yeah. Perfect. No problem, no problem. And for the rest of the trick, we don't need the hearts, the spades, or the clubs. We focus on just the diamonds. And if I screw up, I will find your card in a cool way. Okay? This is usually where I bite it here, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Ace of diamonds face down. All I have to do is riffle. You remove your hands, and then slowly lift your hand up. It should be fair. Shit. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I said I'd find your card in a cool way. Okay? Check this out. One-handed, out of the middle, 22 cards down, one card flies out of the middle. That'd be crazy if that was your card, yeah, right? It would, be it would be even crazier if this was now the Ace of Diamonds. Oh. And that was your card. Hey guys, this is Adam Wilbur with Illusionist. Uh, this is my effect backup plan. It is inspired by a Bill Malone effect called Think, Touch, Turn off his On the Loose set from l and Publishing. If you haven't checked those out, do yourself a favor because there is a ton of gold in there. So this is uh, my variation of his effect on there called Think, Touch, Turn, which I believe is his interpretation of a divernant effect. Um, I do this literally at every single show I do. Uh, it's my go-to when someone says do a card trick, this is what I do. I love it. It fits my character, fits my style. I think if you learn the moves and do it with a kind of a fun, entertaining feel, you'll get a lot out of this. People really seem to enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. I think you're gonna dig it. All right, so this is backup plan. What you're going to need for this is four aces. Can really be four of anything, but I, I just generally use the aces. So. You can either produce them in a fancy way or just have them out. Now, my um, presentation for this is that it's very embarrassing as a magician to try a new effect and screw up. So I like to have some sort of backup. In case I mess a trick up, I have a backup to kind of um, make myself feel better <laughs> at the end. So under that guideline, I have them select any card which will be the backup. So what you're gonna, ha what you're gonna do is have them select a card they look at it, and you're gonna control it to the top. And the way I uh, word this is I just say, if I mess the trick with the aces up, I'll go through and find your card in a cool way. If I don't mess the trick up, then don't even worry about this card, but just keep it in mind. You just control that to the top however you'd like. Generally what I do is push it in the middle, show it in the middle, side jog it, which gets you a break, cut to the break, it looks lost. Draw attention to the aces and ask them, out of the four aces, what's your favorite ace? As I'm doing this, I get a break under the top card, which is their selection. What's your favorite ace? Square them up, whatever ace they name, drop the deck to the side, face up. And that's important in a minute because it's a callback that gives a nice little subtlety. So what I've just done is stolen their selection under the four aces. So any ace that they name, that are the top three, it's very simple. What you're gonna do is place the ace they name on the bottom of the deck. If they do name the ace that's directly above the selection, what you're gonna do is, the, I think it's the crisp alignment move, where you're gonna push their ace forward as you align the other three with the selection, okay? So I've got a double here, say they said the ace of diamonds, I would use my middle finger I'm holding the ace packet with my second, first, and thumb. I use my second finger to push that ace forward as that packet of aces line up until I feel the selected card with my thumb. Then you peel that out and show the, the diamond. 
okay? So that just lines up their, their card and moves this one where you need it to be. It looks like a lot of work, but at speed it's very simple. So I would say, which ace do you like? This is just a Ascanio display which shows four single cards. I like the ace of clubs, they say. Great, we'll use the ace of clubs. But you wouldn't flash like I just did. So you show four aces, they say the ace of clubs. Great, that's what we'll use, the ace of clubs. When you're in this position, the card that they selected, the ace that they selected, goes on the bottom of the deck. I explain, it's going to start face up, it's going to flip face down. Hopefully you don't see it flip over. So here's the first one, it goes in face up, with just a shake, it turns face down. And all I'm doing is peeling over one, two, three, showing them single, and they've seen that the ace of clubs is now flipped face up. And they see, uh, you'll see that's the double. And one piece of advice